Uh, well, I'll start off and just kind of give a recap of last week. Um, was very pleased with our team that, that we went out and played how we're capable of playing, and, and uh, we, we went out and won the game the way that we should win the game. I was, I was excited to see that. Excited to see that we kept the pedal down for four quarters. The guys didn't let up, and we, we played how we want to play the game for four quarters. I thought that our guys played hard, and, and, uh, and it was a ton of fun. We had a great crowd. I, I really appreciate our fans coming out and supporting us. It was an awesome atmosphere. Uh, we were able to play a bunch of guys. We played 33 guys on offense, 33 guys on defense, uh, over 70 total guys, I believe, hit the field for us. So it was uh, it was a great opening week, a lot of fun, and, and a lot of positives that come out of that. Um, a couple things we got to clean up, and we're working on those things this week as as we prepare for a uh, major challenge coming up here in Louisville. So uh, obviously, this is um, we're going to play in front of a, a large crowd, and and. Uh, being an in-state team, there's a number of guys that we recruited that are from the area that this is uh, going to be a big game for them because they're going to get to go home and play in front of their home crowd. Uh, it presents some uh, unique situations because this is a brand new staff. Um, and so, and they play tonight. So it's, it's Monday night. We haven't seen their uh, version of what they're going to do there. They were very, very successful. Coach Satterfield was unbelievably successful. Uh, up at App State the last X number of years. Um, they're seven and one in conference play each of the last four years. Um, very, very successful program. Um, and he brought a number of guys. Uh, you know, I believe he's the play caller, so the system offensively you'd expect to be similar. Uh, defensively brought his defensive play caller and their special teams coordinator as well. So um, the, the guys that were implementing the schemes from a year ago at App State are the same, but it's a whole new group of people. Uh, and that's, that's certainly going to be interesting. I think we can expect to see uh, probably very similar to what we saw at App State on defense because uh, what they were running at App State and, and what Louisville ran last year is very similar. So I'd imagine the personnel would fit pretty well. Um, however, the, the offense would be a little bit different. Um, the, the, what they were doing at App State was a bit different than what they were doing at Louisville a year ago. So that's going to certainly be intriguing. We're going to be tuned in tonight to see how, how they look, uh, really in all, all three phases. And, and I think that um, Coach Holt does a great job with the special team. So uh, we're going to be challenged in all three phases. It's going to be a, a game that uh, will be exciting, and, and our guys are certainly ready for and, and can't wait to go compete on Saturday. Oh, no, absolutely. Yeah, we, we, we did a full breakdown of, of App State in the offseason uh, in all three phases. And so I mean, we did that. Uh, the, yesterday was not the first uh, glimpse of them. Um, in the offseason, typically, we'll, we'll do our first three or four opponents and, and get a full breakdown on, on each of those. Uh, so we did a lot of that because that's what we're anticipating with seeing that um, – all three play callers for ODK were, were going there to Louisville. We assume that a lot of the schematics, the X's and O's side of things, are going to be um, what we see at App State. So obviously there's going to be a spin um, because they got different people. They, they were very successful, so they – <clears throat> we're highlighting certain players and, and uh, might be different guys now that they got a different cast of characters. So, um, but yeah, we, we've, we've had them broken down for a while and, and um, we obviously delved back into it, got out the notes and, you know, kind of got the dust off of them and we're, we're full fledged onto them yesterday, but we had, we had broke them down for uh, quite a while ago. Um, well, we're going to watch it tonight uh, live, uh, keeping my fingers crossed that, it, you know, they don't come out in some, like, triple option or something crazy It looks a bunch different. Hopefully what we think that they are going to be um, is who they're going to be and, and just emphasizing a little bit more of this or a little bit more of that. So um, I, I anticipate that our first and second down game plan won't have to vary a great deal, um, but I guess we'll find out tonight, really. Uh, I, I believe that they are a bit of we are who we are, um, and, and we're going to be really good at what we do. That that seems to be their personality. Um, so I would anticipate that they're going to uh, they're going to have their wrinkles based upon the people they have. But I venture to say that they're mostly going to be who they've been, uh, just with different people running it.
really take a lot of the responsibility in the backfield to kind of wear people down? Yeah, I mean, I, we, we think the world of Alonzo Booth, we think the world of Daryl McClaskey, all of our backs. So, um, absolutely, uh, we, we, run, we like to run the football around here. Uh, we, we've been doing that, and that's not going to change. Uh, we do have a different scheme this year than what we did a year ago, but we're, we're still going to run the football. Um, I, I don't know if we're going to run for 333 again, you know, but, um, but that's, we're, we're going to be a, a, a very balanced attack. We plan on running the football. Um, and Alonzo is a huge part of that. Really, we, everybody within the program has, has known about Alonzo Booth. Um, he's just had some circumstances over the last two years that have kept him from being known by as many people outside of the program. I mean, he had an injury two years ago that took away more than half of a season in his true freshman year. So, mind you, that was in his true freshman year with a very crowded backfield. And then last year he redshirted uh, after four games, again in a very crowded backfield. But um, everybody that's been around the program has known about Alonzo Booth, knows that he's been, um, he's been very talented and, and a very capable playmaker. I think uh, a lot more people got to see that this past weekend. But, um, yeah, we, we, we will continue using him and Daryl and Jason and the whole crew. Initial thoughts on the quarterback? Um, well, we, we threw a couple interceptions. We'd like to see that be eliminated. We'd like to um, not turn the ball over at that position. Uh, I think after each one of them settled down, they, they each did a good job. Um, they they uh, got into a rhythm through completions. We had a couple drops that we, we got to get those things cleaned up too that would have helped their numbers a little bit better. Um, you, you know, I, I all in all, pleased with how they did, you know, with a couple things that we got to clean up. Any players you've been keeping an eye on for Louisville tonight? Hope you watch them live or anything? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a, a little bit wide open because. Um, Again, it's, it's going to be really intriguing to see who they think their playmakers are from um, that team. You know, obviously it's a whole new group of coaches, so they're going to have their own take on who the guys are. These are the guys that are playmakers for us. Here's who we're trying to get the ball in their hands. Uh, not that we're picking out, oh, I want to see what this kid does in particular, but more so who do they try to get the ball into uh, that guy's hands in critical situations? Who, who are their, the, the ones that they've identified as their playmakers? I'm very curious to see that offensively. And, um, and then they got a bunch of guys back on defense. I mean, they have a bunch of guys that have played, that have started different games. Um, so I'm curious to see how that all plays out. They have a couple transfers that were very successful at other places that – uh, are not listed as starters, uh, which is intriguing to me. So I'm curious if that's real or if that's, uh, you know, just putting it on the depth chart accordingly because uh, they don't want to show their hand there. Um, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out and how much those guys play and, and so forth. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm just curious to see how they see that team and who they think their playmakers are and, and so forth. And obviously this is a, I mean, they got Notre Dame and, and their home, uh, you know, home stadium on Monday night, so they're not going to be holding any cards back. So they're going to show their cards pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't, I don't know that Louisville's wounded. Um, you, you know, Coach Satterfield has done an unbelievable job as a head coach over the last uh, five, six seasons. Um, he's won a, a ton of games. Uh, this is a team that won a bunch of games two years ago. Uh, a lot of those, the guys that are, that are playing um, tonight and, and on Saturday were, were a part of that team. Um, I'm certain he's going to have them playing their best football, and that and that's going to be a major challenge. Thank you. Thank you.